Hi everyone. So today we'll see how to integrate a project uh, from GitHub repository to Jenkins. Right. So so far we have uh, created some uh, Maven project, some freestyle project, and we were running the code from locally. Right. I mean pointing our pom.xml from a local laptop. Right. So now uh, we have to run the same project uh, by using the GitHub repository. Right. So we have pushed the same code to the GitHub and we have to integrate our Jenkins with the GitHub repository. So whenever there is a change or there is a some uh, pull request or there is a some change in code, right? So we have to direct automatically and we have to run, right? So for that, that's the reason that we will go for a some repository based, uh, uh, I mean, uh, um, we'll go for a repository integration where we can run the, build the project uh, periodically. By, by changes, uh, once the changes is detected in the repository. So we will start our test, right? So now, uh, today we'll see how to integrate our GitHub repository with the Jenkins and how do we run the project, right? So the things are like, so we have to add uh, GitHub uh, credential to the our Jenkins because uh, the credentials uh, we have to pass it, right? So how do you set up the GitHub credential? You just go to this admin tab. So here you will find option called credential. So once you go here, uh, then you can find this Jenkins option. So click on this Jenkins as a global level. So here you will get a global credentials, right? So get into the global credentials and you here you will you will have some uh, add credential option, right? So once you click on this, like you can in the drop down, you can select a user with password, username with password. So the scope of the variable, I mean the scope of the uh, this uh, credential could be like a global or system. So you can go with a global one and username, your GitHub username and password you have to give and click on OK. So the, your uh, GitHub account, I mean your GitHub credential will be uh, added to the Jenkins as a global level. So now you can see this is my, my GitHub uh, credentials that I have added already. Right? So similarly I have added for this uh, this is for, I mean, something else. Okay, so this is for a browser stack I have added. So similarly, you can add a number of credentials and uh, we can we can start integrate our GitHub uh, project to Zenkey. So now I will create one project by the name of like a, a GitHub Maven. Okay, so I will create one Maven project. So make sure you have some repository uh, uh, in the I mean uh, github account so which we can use it so this is my repository I will take this uh, repository to I mean uh, this project to run my code I mean project okay so how do you take this is a way you have to take so this is a project uh, I mean uh, this URL this repository URL you have to pass it here in the Jenkins Okay, so so far what we have seen, like so we were passing this pom.xml uh, from our local directory, right? So wherever the project is located, so we just were copying this uh, pom.xml file path and we were passing it to here. So now what we'll do, so we'll use this uh, source code management option. So where uh, we were using the GitHub uh, repository, right? So if we are using servers and then and very quickly you can use this one. So for GitHub, you have to give the GitHub repository URL. So this is a URL that you have to copy and come here, pass it here. Okay, so as soon as you click on this, uh, I mean, enter or a tab. So now you can see there are some credential asking. So if you want to add the credential, you need to click on this drop down. You could see this. This is we, we have set as a global level, right? So that's the reason we are getting it here. You can add this one. Okay, so you don't want to do, do anything here. And so by default, it has only one master branch, right? So we don't have any other branches here, only master branch. So by default, it is taking the master branch and that's all. So leave it, I mean, as it is now. So you have to pass this the URL and you have to add the, add the credential. So if, if the credential is asking and it is mandatory, then choose the credential. Sometimes it won't ask if the project is it's in the public visible uh, level or, or something like that, okay? So now, what you have to do? So we have to pass the Maven command, right? So the room dot, I mean, uh, root palm dot XML option, right? So you just leave as it is. Okay. So what is the goal now? Clean test, right? So clean test is our, our goal. So after this, you just click on apply and save. We will we will build the project now and we'll see the uh, outcome. 
Okay, so I have just clicked on the build now option. So the build is started now. Now you can see. So so it's cloning the repository from the GitHub, right? So what happened? What is happening? Right? So the first step we have to clone the repository. I mean uh, the checkout will happen from the GitHub account. Uh, so from the repository, and the test is started now, right? So now you can see all the steps. That is, I mean, uh, okay. The test is still not started. I mean, uh, it is. I mean, communicating to the uh, repository to clone the code and everything. Yeah, so now here you can see the test is started. So executing Maven, right? So Maven clean test is passed now. So now it's, I mean, the, the project scanning and everything is started. Yeah, now you can see the test is started, right? So we'll wait for some time. So now you can see, right, so the Chrome driver was started successfully and the test is also done. I mean, uh, you can see there were only one test, I mean, two tests and everything is passed. No, there are no failures and the build is successful, right? So the Jenkins is finishing uh, collecting the data. So once this is done, so we are good from uh, running our project from the GitHub account directly. So the build is success now. Right, so it is finished as a success. So this is how uh, we have to uh, integrate a, a GitHub account to Jenkins. So, so this is how we run the project. So what we have done. So you have to first thing you have to add your uh, GitHub credential as a global level by going to this page, right? So credential page, you just you have to uh, pass your username and password, and in the configuration. So make sure in the uh, source code management option. So we are selecting the Git uh, Git as an option, right? So we are using the Git, right? So that's why uh, we have selected as a Git. So in your case, if you can use uh, a subversion or something else, right? So this is a repository URL, so that that you can copy it from here, right? And uh, you have to add the credentials. And this is a branch by default, it's taking as a master branch. And the build option, so leave this as a pom.xml and clean test, that's all. Okay, so this is how we create a, uh, I mean, we will we will create a project and we will run it from the architect repository uh, account, right? So we will, uh, we will just pass the uh, respective GitHub repository URL, then we'll execute our project. Okay, so the code, uh, everything will be taken from the GitHub directly, right? Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, this is all about, I mean, uh, how do you integrate your GitHub repository account? I mean, your GitHub repository account as well as your GitHub repository project to the main, I mean, Jenkins and how to run it, right? So in my next video, we'll see how do we uh, create uh, some pipeline uh, project and uh, how do we run the project, okay? Thank you guys. Thank <laughs> you.